Round 1, Eastern Conference, the NBA Playoffs. The Bucks enter a new domain where the regular season fades away and the immediate challenge comes into focus as they try to take the upper hand against the Indiana Pacers. Round 1, Game 1, the NBA Playoffs, coming up next. Welcome, everyone. The regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst, Greg Anthony, and Hall of Famer, Doris Burke. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. They've got Turner. Benedict Matherin is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two spot. And for Milwaukee, we'll see the talented pair of Middleton and Giannis at forward. Damian Lillard out there with Pat Connaughton. And it's Lopez in at the center, locking down the middle. Off goes to Milwaukee. Middleton against Matherin. Here's Lillard. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. The correct decision by Middleton moving to his wide open teammate Chris. A terrific passer off the wing. Here's Memoir. He's defended by Connaughton. Burton looking around. Pocket four. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And Siakam gets it to go on the assist by Halliburton. This guy's got an incredible all-around skill set. Pascal Siakam from the paint. Yes, sir. Middleton against Matherin. Here's Lopez up and in from the low block. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Alert against Halliburton. Turner passes to Halliburton. Indiana moving the ball. Over. Siakam finds Halliburton. Over Lillard. And it's Halliburton missing. And here's Lillard. He brings it up to the box. And stolen by Siakam. And here we go. Fast break. Halliburton's got it. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Now, here's Lillard. Pass to Connaughton. Passes it to Andre Kumbo. Here's Middleton, and it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. And with great positional size, Middleton knows how to do damage down low. Pacers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Halliburton against Lillard. That's right, Halliburton. Shoots over Lillard. That doesn't go either for Halliburton. Bucks have gotten their first three shots to go in for to start off this game. Middleton the pass to on the Kumbo. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Alert against Halliburton. is a three, sinks the triple. Well, it's been early in his career, but Tyrese Halliburton has proven to be extremely dangerous from range. Giannis outside. To the left side wing. Front pass the arc. Pacers with the rebound. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. 
has Nemar. He's defended by Connaughton. Whistle blows, but the skid is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against Wink. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Just under three and a half minutes played. Lillard scanning the floor. Shot from 12. The rebound by Turner. Lillard's gone one of three on the night. Here's Halliburton. Plays it up and banks it in. Halliburton's got five now. Well, you love when guards are unafraid to get to the painted area and finish. Go ahead, Tyrese. Middleton outside. Here's Connaughton, still scoreless. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. First team foul. At the line for Milwaukee, Damian Lillard. Two shots. The first one falls. And, you know, such a fierce competitor. Lillard can score from anywhere on the court. And there's no one you'd rather give the ball to with the game on the line. No free throw is good from Lillard. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. And the pass to Siakam. And the rejection by Adekumbo. And there's the length of Giannis. Bad idea to even attempt to get that shot over. Pass to Lillard. Back to Connaughton. Middleton outside. Just five on the clock. On the top of the key, and he hits the jump shot. No question Middleton can produce. He puts in a big effort on offense, and it shows on the scoreboard. Halliburton in the corner. Indiana moving it around. And a wide open look for Siaka. Turner. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. You love the determination, right? Miles Turner effectively getting to the window and getting another opportunity. Lopez, a screen on Hellebert. That's a two from Willard, and he drops that one in. Lillard's got six points. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Now, here's Halliburton. Pass to Nemo. Halliburton against Lillard. The shot's good from Halliburton. He's got seven. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Lopez sends a screen for Lillard. Offline with his three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. It should have to Siakam. It's good from long range. Well, you love the confidence from Pascal Siakam. Ready on the catch, rise and fire. Nicely done. Right side out of the Kumbo. Siakam pulls it in. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. Three-point lead. Nemard, the pass to Matherin. Alert against 
caliber. This is it to Nemar. Outside, Matherin takes the three. Lopez with the block. Just superb timing. Lopez stretches out beautifully to send that back. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Now, here's Halliburton. Seven points in the game. Shot from 12, and he gets it to go. And the Pacers lead by three. Well, you love to see guys willing to exploit the mid-range. If that's what the defender concedes, go ahead and take it. And it's Lopez at the elbow. And the wide-open shot from Connaughton. Good on the three-point shot. Connaughton's got the game tied up here for the Bucks, And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Nemar, the pass to Siakam. Halliburton against Lillard. To the paint, here's Nemar. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got three assists tonight. Matherin against Middleton. The pass to Connaughton. Kicks it to Giannis. Pass to Lillard. The tray. And another three for Milwaukee. And it's the moment Lillard passes half court. You have to pick him up. Because Dane's range is in the Siakam outside. It's Turner high post. And Lillard is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. A different look for Milwaukee. Malik Beasley comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Pat Connington. And it's the Pacers with the ball. They trail by one. Nice to Halliburton. Five on the clock. Pass to Nemo. For Beverly, a shot by Nemhard, no good. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art, changing shots without making contact. And it's Beverly missing. Indiana's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. The pass to Nemhard. A jump hook. And that one goes long. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Adetokounmpo kicks to Lillard. Beasley sets a screen for Lillard. A three-pointer is right on target. And it's a four-point Bucks lead. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Halliburton against Lillard. Pass to Matherin. with a screen on Beasley. in for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Boy, great answer by Benedict Matherin. What a shot from distance. Halliburton against Lillard. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Pacers trail by four. Siakamus, bring on Lillard. Here's Halliburton. And finished off by Siakam. Well, that is about recognition right there from Tyrese Halliburton. He recognizes the overcommitment, makes the defense pay. Adetokounmpo up top. Covered. Oh, my oh, goodness! Wow. What a play! Uh, an amazing athlete. The, the length, speed, uh, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Halliburton against Lillard. 11 feet away, and the Pacers tag on two more. And offensively right now, each team getting what it wants. Yeah, this is already a high-scoring game, but we knew that was a possibility coming into this one. He's feeling it. Here's Giannis. 
That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. 58 seconds left to play in the first quarter. It's thrown by to Jacumbo. Pass to Lillard. Back to Anadokounmpo. Kicks it out to Beasley. Six on the shot clock. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Now it's a seven-point Bucks lead. 36 seconds left here in the first quarter. Halliburton with it. 11 points in the game. It's Turner high post. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Miles Turner covered tightly, but nonetheless scores it. That is really well done. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. Six points for him. That shot off. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Bucks lead by five. And rolling after this from Milwaukee. to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. It's a five-point game. And so in the game for the Pacers. We've got Neesmith. Neesmith is out there with Smith. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's McConnell in at the one spot. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Bucks? We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played. But they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And the first one drops. Well, so far, Jalen Smith has proven to be a quality role player. This guy works his tail off both ends. Smith hits them both. Now Lillard. Port is a screen on McConnell. Smith against Lillard. Passes to Portis. Here's Beverly. Fires for three. Rebound by Smith. Lillard against McConnell. Outside Halliburton. Inside. Down to five on the shot clock. Toppin passes to McConnell. And he's off on his first shot of the game. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Middleton left side. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Middleton's got six points. And this is something Middleton's improved over time, converting through contact. Smith sets the pick for Halliburton. Trying to find Smith. He's got it now. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. 
Halliburton's got six assists now in the game. Lillard against McConnell. And that's good. Damian Lillard for three. He's got 18. And it's astonishing how Lillard can run up the scoreboard when he's in that zone. He is scary on offense. Halliburton for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Adedekumbo has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Lillard against Toppin. Court is a screen on Toppin. Three-pointer, Lillard. And it's McConnell with the rebound. Pacers trail by six. Now the pass to Toppin. Beverly against Halliburton. Lee Smith, the pass to Halliburton. Smith with a screen on Beverly. Out to Smith for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Beverly, the pass to Middleton. Back to Beverly. Pass to Portis. He's looking for Giannis and finds it. Middleton for three. The shot comes out. Indiana's gone three to seven tonight from three-point territory. Halliburton outside. To the middle. Here's Neesmith. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got assist number seven for him tonight. Milwaukee leading by four. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. front of the Kumbo, and it's Pat Connington in for Patrick Beverly. The Pacers making a switch here. Connington with it. Picked up by Turner. Let's the three fly. Drops in the tray. Lillard's got the lead up to seven now for the Bucks. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Closing in on four minutes play here in the second quarter. Here's Halliburton, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. A superb scorer and a talented distributor. Tyrese Halliburton is exactly the type of point guard every team would love to have. Now here's Connaughton. He has five. And Lillard gets it to go. He's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets looking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Here's Neesmith. Here's Toppin. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And he's got his first chance at the line here. fun to watch a young player like Obi Toppin adapt to the league. He has done a really good job rising to the challenge of NBA level play. Now here's Connaughton. To the inside. Lillard. And he finishes nicely on the way. Lillard's got 11 points in the quarter. Well this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. to Halliburton. It's rebound 
guarded by Portis. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. They lead by seven. Lillard with it. Picked up by Turner. Back to Gallinari. From downtown, the rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Passes it to Halbert. Turner with a screen on Lillard. Out to Turner. There's the triple. And the Pacers can't get it to go. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Connaughton passes to Middleton. Back to Connaughton. Gallinari in the corner. Four on the clock. And it's sent back by Turner. I tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. Yeah, well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Milwaukee making a switch. Onto the Kumbos checked in. The Pacers also changing it up. Siakam is checked in for Choppin. And it's Benedict Matherin in for Neesmith. Three-pointer Lillard connects again from distance. And he is scorching hot right now. He could be on his way to setting a franchise postseason record with this year. He's caught fire at the right time for this team. Stepped up big in the postseason for him. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Connington kicks to Lillard, and Lillard gets double-teamed. Portis inside the three-point line. Good, and it's Giannis picking up the assist. Antetokounmpo's got three assists in the game. Halliburton against Lillard. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. To end the drought. The shot by Turner, no good. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Three-pointer Lillard. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Matherin finds Halliburton. The pass to Turner. Shoots over Portis. That's in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Turner. When Turner's scoring buckets inside, he is really testing the defense. This guy has a whole lot of games. Portis a screen on Halbert. Lillard from outside, and the three ball is good. Lillard's got 32 points in the game. And, and really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Turner passes to Halbert. Rebounded by the Bucks. Ande de Kumbo's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Beyond the arc. And again for three. And he's letting it fly from long range to devastating effect. And he's now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game. Pass to Nemo. He kicks it to Turner. Good. That's now eight points for Miles Turner. Well, I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Now here's Connaughton. Defense is right there. And Lillard gets double teamed. From deep onto the Kumbo. Connaughton passes to Lillard. And a miss there on the triple. Pacers trail by 14. Halliburton kicks to Siakam. On the wing, Matherin. He can't get it to go. Great D that time for Middleton. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Here's Matherin. And oh, what a play. He just palms the block. Pass to Connaughton. Lillard outside. And Lillard gets double teamed. Portis finds Giannis. 
The Bucks working the ball around. And again, the Bucks miss. Pacers trail by 14. Siakam deciding where to go with it. Pass to Nemhoff. Turner with it. Over Giannis. And the rejection by Giannis. Bucks leading by 14. Here's Connaughton. No good with the triple. Siakam outside. And at the top of the key, Turner. Shoots over Portis. The shot by Turner, no good. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Loads it up for Giannis. An emphatic LU jam. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley oop jams look easy. So, timeout called here. The first for Indiana. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. And he's on fire from beyond the arc there. It's time to start shaping their game plan around stopping this long range assault. Look, Lopez is checked in for the Bucks. And a change for the Pacers. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Halliburton. One thirty-seven left in the first half of the game. McConnell passes to Nemhoff. Back to McConnell. Just five to shoot. Feeds to Turner. Sweet move. A rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Now, here's Connaughton. He's covered closely. Alert against McConnell. Good! Another from three. The three is coming fast and furious. He is scorching the net. Now GA tied for the third most three-point field goals in single-game playoff history. And 10 triples equals Dane Lillard's buzzer-beating performance in 2019 when he waved bye-bye to the Thunder. Here's the pass to McConnell. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. McConnell's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Lillard from outside. It's rebounded by Indiana. Siakam outside. Pass to McConnell. Over Giannis. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And that's a great job by Giannis of altering the shot. And it's Milwaukee with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much with Rick Carlisle. Coach, what needs to happen on the defensive end to get back on track? Well, a lot of things need to get better. Uh, our level of force defensively is not there. We got to pick it up. You know, we got to play with a lot more collective force. We'll see if you can bring the noise more as the game goes on. Thanks very much. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Hey everybody, it's halftime of game one and a big lead right now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Well, it's their style of play, their pace, so they feel comfortable running through their offense until they get a good look. And it's a joy to watch when everything's clicking.
seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks. The series lead, the halftime lead, they're in great shape. And so they can't let up now, Ernie. I mean, when you've got a team down, you got to finish the job. You got to be merciless and mean. Well, maybe not that last part, but I, I see where you're going. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. We're seeing a tremendous game from Damian Lillard. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Lopez is the pivot with Giannis to his side. Connaughton and Middleton share the wing duty. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Here's Nemhard. Siakam passes to Halliburton. Let's it go with a three. And another field goal in this total. Make it seven for 14, shooting 50%. Tyrese Halliburton is putting in work right now. This guy getting to his spots and scoring with ease. Lopez, a screen on Halliburton. Here's Lillard. He's off on that one. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Pass to Nemhart. Now, here's Siakam. Now, here is Halliburton. On the wing, Matherin. For Middleton. That one rolling around and runs out. Right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Pacers trail by 13. Siakam finds Matherin. Over in the corner, Turner. Halliburton outside. Indiana moving the ball around. On the Dekumbo against Matherin. Siakam for three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. And there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Here's Willard. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Down low, here's Giannis. That's a big donut, folks, here. To start the second half, four straight, and they've missed. Halliburton against Lillard. Halliburton passes to Turner. Here's Nemard. Five points in the game. Pocket six. Puts up a deep three. Atatakumbo pulls it in. Bucks leading by 10. Lillard from outside. Nemhard grabs the ball. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. The lead now in single digits. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 12 rebounds. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. This is a Giannis. Can they get it? And it's Lillard missing. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Here's Nemard. Turner with a screen on Connaughton. Damian Lillard grabs the loose ball. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Lopez outside. Buries the long-range jumper. Lopez has got five. You simply have to remember that Brooke Lopez can stroke the jumper. I mean, this guy on catch and shoot is terrific. 
Siakam against Giannis. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. This is one of those nights. A mistake after mistake, a comedy of errors. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Milwaukee leading by 11. Middleton outside. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Giannis has got assist number five here tonight. And if you're trying to get the most out of Middleton offensively, put him in catch-and-shoot situations. Now, here's Siakam. He's got 10. Halliburton outside. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Three points. Halliburton's got 19 points. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. up to Kumbo outside and it's Matherin with the rebound and Matherin has got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers their defense has only allowed six points in the second half Connaughton kicks to Lillard back to Connaughton and there's the pass to Lillard and Lillard gets double teamed a shot by out of the Kumbo nobody around and it's good assisting on the play was Lillard Lillard's got his fourth assist in this one. Halliburton against Lillard. Now, here's Siakam. Guarded close. Halliburton finds Siakam. Shot clock at six. And it goes for the fifth time in ten shots for him this game. Well, the contact made that shot more difficult, but Siakam stays with it and makes the shot anyway. Nicely done. Middleton outside. Connaughton with it. He has five, and it's good. Two points. Lillard's got 40 points. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Lopez with the steal. Lillard with it. Halliburton picks him up. Lillard outside. The teardrop falls in. Lillard's got 42 in the game. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's had an answer. Turner with a screen on Lillard. Right side Turner lets it go from deep. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got six rebounds here tonight. Giannis passes to Lillard. Middleton outside from the arc. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got assist number five here tonight. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Here's Nemhard. Five points in the game. Inside. It's so about it's a Kumbo. Lillard outside. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. And again for three. 
He's putting on a shooting exhibition that has left this entire arena slack jaw. And Greg, he finds himself tied for second place all time and three point makes for a playoff game. Equaling game six Clay, who buried OKC back in 2016 with 11 triples. And the Pacers call time here. Beverly, he's checked in for Pat Connington. And the Pacers also making a change. Neesmith has checked in. On defense, the Bucks. Halliburton is double. And they get it. Nemhard's shot is good. Nemhard's got eight points. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Halliburton against Lillard over Halliburton, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. Well, if the defense is going to give him the mid-range look, Lillard has no problem taking advantage. Siakama screen on Lillard to the inside, and the rejection by Giannis. Here is Lillard, non-stop scoring machine here. Siakam against Andekumbo. Lopez sets a screen for Andekumbo. Off target with his three. Pacers trail by 20. Siakam, right side. It's thrown by Andekumbo. Here's Lillard, and then Lillard slams it in. There's so little ego in Giannis's game. It's not about him out there. He wants to make the game easier for his teammates. Here's Halliburton, and Halliburton slams it in. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. And it's Beverly missing. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Pass to Neesmith. Kicks to Turner. Good D by Lopez. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 16-7 run. Three-pointer Lillard connects again from distance. Incandescent from long range. The defense throwing up their hands. How do you stop it? <laughs> I don't know. And he's now tied the single-game playoff record for three-pointers made. 12 triples, putting him neck and neck with Dane Lillard's record-setting game in 2021. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Here's Lillard. Here's Yuck. And the slam dunk by Hunter Takumbo. Instincts and anticipation. Great effort here by Giannis. Nemhard, the pass to turn. Halliburton outside. Halliburton is double. To the wing on the left for three, Siakam. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Middleton outside. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Halliburton. We've got 123 left to play in the third. Fires the three. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Milwaukee leading by 20. Beverly dishes to Lillard. And Lillard gets double team. Lopez finds Antetokounmpo. That's in a seven for 12 now in the game. Well, that leadership from Lopez wanting to get his guys involved with his passing ability. And the Pacers call time here. Bucks with some changes. Alinari, he's checked in for Lopez. Bobby Portis comes in for Antetokounmpo. And it's Malik Beasley in for Damian Lillard. 
Now, here's Siakam. 15 points in the game. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bucks. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. Milwaukee leading by 19. Middleton looking it over. Connaughton sets a screen for Middleton target from outside and the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession now here's McConnell out of bounds Milwaukee takes possession substitution number 26 and 26 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Middleton outside. 15 seconds left in the third. Passes to Beverly. Five to shoot. Portis a screen on McConnell. Trains it from beyond the arc. Beverly's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, Patrick Beverly has turned himself into a reliable three-point shooter. Nice delivery. And so things happen for Milwaukee. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We'll return shortly. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. We've got T.J. McConnell. We'll be topping out there with Neesmith. And it's Smith. And it's Halliburton into the shooting guard. Really left alone that time. Lillard's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Bucks. Smith outside. Now the pass to Halliburton. And here is Neesmith. A three-pointer off the mark. McConnell against Gallinari. Now Lillard. To the paint. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Lillard's got 18 points just in the second half. Halliburton on the wing. Defended by Beverly. Pass to Neesmith. Shoots over Connaughton. A nice shot by Neesmith. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Lillard against McConnell. Lillard attacking. It's rebounded by Indiana. Final quarter of play. About a minute and a half off the clock into it. Lillard against McConnell. Pass to Halliburton. Dishes at the top of That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. The shooting fundamentals are real plus for Obi Toppin. He has consistent mechanics and a high release point. Here's Lillard. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. 
Pacers trail by 21 to the wing right side. McConnell finds Halliburton. Halliburton is double. Some nice passing here by Indiana. That shot wide open. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Portis, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First First free throw is good. The Pacers making a switch here. Nemard's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Fourth quarter of point, we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Smith sets the pick for Halliburton. Passes it to Nemo. Out left of the wing. Fires the three. And Indiana, another three. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Now, here's Lillard. And the shot is long. On offense, here are the Pacers. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run goal. Halliburton for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Halliburton's got 24. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And Lillard kicks to Beverly. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Colinari. Good work defensively by Smith. Well, she's up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. The pass to Nemo. Capitalist screen on Lillard. Six to shoot. Halliburton against Lillard. And the shot is good. Halliburton's got five points now in the quarter. Well, we know Tyrese Halliburton is first and foremost a shooter. This guy has put in a ton of work. Halliburton against Lillard. And Lillard gets double teamed. Gallinari wide open. Drills the three-pointer. Gallinari's got himself going with the triple. His first basket of the game. Yeah, you have to make greater effort than that defensively. You, you know what he can do from range. Well, to me, that's just inexcusable. You start to wonder how much they really want this basketball game. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Nice shot by Portis. And a great look. Lillard always looking for teammates. Doesn't have tunnel vision. Halliburton against Lillard. Teardrop shot. Count it. Halliburton's got 28. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. He kicks the top of it. Oh, good on the triple. Bucks leading by 13. Alonari passes to Connaughton. Beverly up top. Back to Connaughton. And the Bucks with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Gallinari. 
Giannis comes in for Portis, and Middleton subbed in for Lillard. The Pacers also changing it up. Miles Turner comes in for Jalen Smith, and it's Pascal Siak in for Toppin. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And the Bucks making a change here. Beasley's checked in, and with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Now, Siakam, following the three-point attempt by Giannis, trains the three-pointer. Halliburton's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Pacers. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. To the middle. Here's Beasley, and it's sent back by Turner. They retain possession, and that one is good by Beasley. Now you love to see a guard like Malik Beasley take it down low and be willing to compete and make a shot. Halliburton up top, defended by Beverly. Pass to Siakam. Over on to Takumbo. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Clearly a foul. Taking two shots. Siakam. One of the things that we're watching happen with Pascal Siakam is the willingness to accept more and more responsibility both from a leadership and a productivity standpoint, guys. And it has been something else to watch that growth. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks, Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Malik Beasley and Lillard subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Bucks leading by 10. Pass to Lillard. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And Middleton kicks to Connaughton. And it's sent back by Turner. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Turner. Now here's Connaughton. Shot clock at five. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. And good! There's another. And he now owns third place for most points in a playoff game. An incredible game, no doubt. Nothing can slow him down. And now only Elgin Baylor and Michael Jordan ahead of him. How much further can he go? Turner passes to Halliburton. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. And again, another assist. And he's in total control of the offense. What a game. In fact, he's almost at the franchise record for assists in a playoff game. Giannis outside. This is it to Lillard. Over Halliburton. And another one falls. He has taken over this game. And now GA tied for the second most points in a playoff game all time. He's equaled the great Elgin Baylor. 61 points. An extraordinary game. Shots good by Turner. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Lillard. Middleton on the wing. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pacers trail by nine. Halliburton passes to Nemo. against Turner. It's over Lillard. Turner. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Uh, Miles Turner is a major force on the backboards. If you do not put a body on him, he's going to make you look foolish. Now, here's Connaughton. Not a lot of room. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Personal.
The Pacers shooting 55% from the floor. They're feeling very confident offensively. The pass to Siakam. Back to Halliburton. Halliburton is double. And a wide open look from and another assist. And this is the best someone could run an offense. Pinpoint passing, everyone involved. Every time he touches the ball, good things happen. And he's now tied for the franchise record for assists in the game. It has been a masterful performance. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, with that six foot nine length, right? Siakam uses those long limbs to create contact. Get himself some free throws. Nicely done. Taking two shots. Throw good, Siakam. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. He's perfect from the line this time. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Connaughton passes to Andacumbo. Lillard outside. Jacks up a three. And again! And that bucket, if you can believe it, sets a new all-time record for points in a playoff game. Frank, the way he came out tonight, you could feel the level of his focus. He put his team on his back and has delivered an incredible offensive show. And it was way back in 1986 that Michael Jordan set the record of 63 points. And when you surpass the greatest of all time, you've done something special. And here are the Pacers now, trailing by five. Halliburton against Lillard. Halliburton is double. Here's Nemo. And another assist for him. And would you believe he set a new franchise record for assists in a postseason game? On one hand, it's astounding. On the other hand, well, we saw this coming almost from the opening tip. And it's Lillard missing. Oh, that was a great effort defensively. Get a hand up in the face of the shooter. It's so important. Halliburton turned with a screen on Lillard and a wide open look for Halliburton and that won't go missing the go ahead bucket here's Antetokounmpo and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line it's going to be on Miles turn And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Well, Giannis has to push out the distractions here. Take his time and don't rush his process. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible, pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. All the officials are all over that one.
gets the first one and that narrows the gap to one. ties it up. Well, this game has the feel that it could come down to the wire, so that is just the kind of success they need to have at the foul line. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside, going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. Giannis the And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the second of two is good. That gives them the lead. Yeah, one more make would have been nice, but they do walk away with the lead. Halliburton up top. by Lillard. And the Pacers can't get it to go. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. Here's Yoss. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Man, with that skill set at 6'11", Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. Giannis. Toppin, he's jacked in for Turner. Two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two. Second one is good. We both at the line. It's a three-point game. And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Pacers. From outside the arc, rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Connaughton on the three off target. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. It's all about a Jacumbo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Siakam. At the line for the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo, two shots. Shooting two. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And he does get the second one. And that gives them a four-point cushion. 
There's 31 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Second difference, shot and game clock. With the floater, it counts! And he has brought them to within two points. So much riding on that shot. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. first and that makes it a three-point lead high stakes moment but Dane is a high percentage free throw shooter he knows he's got this and so he drops them both it's a four-point ball game he knew what was riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around making this a two possession game that's just the here's Nemo it's three pointers off the mark and now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. the first and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both and it's a six point ball game. Well what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. Here's Nemo. No good from outside. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum is so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this way into game two. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Giannis. You have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes for my team to win. Did a great job executing, move the ball, and uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together, and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard.